Hey, hey guys, Brian Parnell here, and thank you for downloading the iMacro script. There are some, there's some instructions. Um, I'm sure lots of you will know how to use this script, but there'll be quite a few people that don't. So I thought what I would do is I would show you how to do it and set it all up within Browsio, because that's really, you know, that's really where I want you to be using it. Um, and then, but then I'll also show you how to set it up within Firefox itself. Okay, so within Browsio, you find the script. So wherever you've wherever you've saved the script, okay. And when I say save the script, from when you've downloaded it from myself, you then come over to Browtation and you look for the macros folder. Okay, so this macros folder is where you want to be finding, going to, and then uploading the script. Okay, so I am going to copy the script. And then I'm going to go to where it actually should be. So we've got to go to um, bum, 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 not documents. I want to go to this PC, C drive, users, me, app data, local, raw social organizer, and then it's in brow meditation and then you just paste it into here okay so if I just go to edit open with notepad plus plus right so within here you just have to put your you like hits username your you like hits password both of these are case sensitive okay so obviously you know it's not going to work until you until you put that in right so let's close that down now I want to refresh scripts come to here tick on this one and you would this is within browsio okay you say mac, blah, 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 maximum time to play each macro, so let's say five times. Okay, I'm just doing this for now. You know, if you were going to, you could just set that up and let it go, you know, a thousand times each, right? And then it will open up I macros, um, you like hit, sorry, in each of these windows just here. So click on run. Here we go. I'm just going to open up one just to show you see what it's doing, it's clearing the cache it's gone to you like hits now obviously it's not logged me in because I've put a fake username and fake password in but what it would do then is go off and and do its thing okay so that that there is Browsio, okay? And I might as well close all these down because it's just going to take up system resource, and I don't need it to take up system resource. And then the next place you can do it is actually within Firefox. So within Firefox, the the file for it to wor work blah, 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 for it to work in Firefox you need to take it to documents and I don't look like I've got Firefox installed on this machine so let's go to a machine that I've got Firefox installed on um, let's just stop that stop the script a minute pause that let's close it so you go to my documents 
and then you've got i macros then macros and that's where it is you like hits macro okay so if i open up um the folder you can see it's in document my documents i macros then macros and that's where you would save it okay and then open up firefox you've got this little i macros thing here okay so what you have to do if you don't have that which you probably won't if you've never used i macros is you need to go to tools add-ons click i macros not in that one sorry not in that one <laughs> i always seem to, i always do that click on extensions so that's extensions over here on the left and come into the search box within the actual web page and it would come up but obviously I've already got it installed okay I macros for Firefox and then you just click in click on download or install whatever it says and that's it Bob's your uncle okay uh, and then you just need to go and make sure that you save the file in this root directory which is my documents I macros then macros um, obviously this directory will not be there if you haven't got iMacros installed on your Firefox yet okay and then to actually play it you just click this little macros thing here highlight it click on play and if you want it to loop you just go into here you can type in 100 click on play loop and it'll go through but the beauty of doing it within Browsio is that it's doing it within its own browse you browser window and it's doing its own thing and you know it's it's off to the races uh, so just another piece of beauty using browser okay then guys all the best cheers for now bye bye